Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is that boy EC back again with another freaking video, man. As you can see from the title and the thumbnail, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about how to start a clothing brand, man. It's 2024, man. So if you wanna start a clothing brand, you need to start it now and start start it right now what the heck but uh yeah so if you guys don't know about me my name is ec i have a brand called eternal um eternal.us on instagram and so in these last three months i made two thousand dollars um from my clothing brand nothing too crazy but you know what i'm saying it's not too bad from my three months of starting you know what i'm saying so um i do have a little bit of credibility credibility yo what the heck <laughs> credibility and what i do man so i'm gonna be teaching you guys about how to start a clothing brand so without further ado man let's get straight into the first tip about how to start a clothing brand let's go y'all all right y'all boys so the first thing you want to do is have a name for your brand and so when you make this name you don't want it to be any name you don't want it to be any generic generic name you want it to have a meaning behind it y'all boys so for my name is eternal so that for me it means that we live on forever you feel what i'm saying and so just think of other brands like cozy um, if you do not know who Poppy Q is, he's kind of a big influencer in the streetwear industry, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so his name for his brand is Cozy, which is the name for his supporters and the name of his friend group, you know what I'm saying? So it has a double meaning behind it. So when you guys have your clothing brand, you guys want to have a meaning behind it. And also when they think of that name of the brand, they think of you, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, that's the first step, man. So now let's get into step number two. All right, y'all boys, so we are now on to step number two, man. And step number two is what type of clothing brand do you want to have? So there are different type of clothing brands out there. You have your lifestyle clothing brands. You have your streetwear clothing brands. You have your brands that like to make high quality blanks. And you also have your luxury type clothing brands like Louis Vuitton. So as I just named, there's different type of clothing brands out there. So for me, I have a streetwear brand. And so the reason why I made that is because I like to put that stuff on. So that's the type of audience I want to sell to. So whatever you like to wear and wear in your everyday life or make, that's what the audience you should cater to. So man, that is step number two. So now let's get on to step number three. All right, y'all boys, so we are now on to step number three, man. Step number three is you guys need to have a design or make a design, you know what I'm saying? So you need to have a design to send to your manufacturer. That way they're able to make your clothing that you need, you know what I'm saying? So right now I'm going to be putting you guys onto a manufacturer you can use that a lot of people recommend. Um, his name is Sand5.Graphics. I'm going to put his Instagram in a corner right here, you know what I'm saying? So he's able to make designs and he does make his own designs as well to sell them to you guys. So if you guys like those Hellstar lookalikes, he makes a lot of those, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys have designs that are already made, he can cook them up for you like on paper. If you haven't made, he can cook them up to you, make them a mock-up so that way you could send to your manufacturer. Or if you guys don't have it, you know what I'm saying? You could just buy a design right there from him, send that to the manufacturer and then you're good to go, you know what I'm saying? So that is step number three, man. Let's get on to step number four. All right, so boys, so we are now on to step number four, man. Step number four is you guys need to find a manufacturer, bro. You guys need a manufacturer in order to make the designs that you just cooked up, you know what I'm saying? You just cooked up some heat. So you guys need a manufacturer in order to make that. So today I'm gonna to be putting you onto two manufacturers that I have used and also another way to find a manufacturer. That way you guys can have someone to cook up that heat you just made, you know what I'm saying? So first one, that I have is Sports, man. He made my screen print face your demon tees, man. Um, those were very good quality, you know. He can make custom name tags and all that, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys need one for tees, that is one Sports. I'll put it in the corner right here. All right, so now we're on to manufacturer number two. Manufacturer number two, the one who made my eternal love hoodies is Magna Dot Industries, man. You know what I'm saying? So um, that is the second manufacturer that I have for y'all boys. Um, also, they were puff print tees, so man, they were really good quality, very high quality. Had a lot of good reviews on them, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys need one for hoodies too, I got y'all boys with that too. Um, so now let's get into the third way you can find a manufacturer. The third way you can find a manufacturer is you can go to a trusted clothing brand owner, like one of the smaller clothing brands that you trust that you have bought from, DM the um, owner of that clothing brand and be like, hey, can I buy your manufacturer list? And they'll probably sell it to you. You probably will have to pay some money, but you guys do have to realize that people 
have spent money to find these manufacturers as well and they had to buy samples from them in order to know that this manufacturer is trustworthy so that's why i recommend you guys going to one of the clothing brands that you have bought from you know what i'm saying because you trust them and you've seen the product before you feel what i'm saying that's just how you have to think you bought the product from them before so you're like okay this is a good product so now you could dm the owner and be like hey who just made this let me get this from you so that way when you want to make something it'll be good quality like that you feel what i'm saying so yeah that is number four so now let's get into number five let's go all right y'all boys we are now on to step number five man step number five is you guys need to have a website bro so today i'm gonna be putting you guys onto someone who can make your website too because i'm gonna be honest i didn't make my own website you know what i'm saying i'm sorry i did not want to go through the struggle of making a website bro it's it's a lot of steps bro i'm not gonna lie so i, I let someone else cook up my website you know what i'm saying so today i'm gonna be putting you guys onto someone who could make your website that made my website for a reasonable price and made it pretty fast you know what i'm saying so his name is l dot y'all here on instagram make sure that if you guys do use him you tell him that i sent you you feel what i'm saying so yeah he is very fast makes a very simple easy and clean website to use it's clear and straight to the point you know what i'm saying just click it check out buy it you know what i'm saying because that's what you need you want something simple and easy to use you don't want people to having to go through a whole bunch of steps seeing a whole bunch of flashing lights in their eyes no simple easy clean and cut simple to use you feel what i'm saying so his name is l dot y'all here once again put the instagram right here you know what i'm saying and so now let's get on to the last step you know what i'm saying pretty much done let's go now the last step that i would recommend man is you run a pre-order bro do not do pre-made for your first run in this clothing brand game because first of all you don't know if unless you went crazy with um your marketing and you have a whole bunch of people like yo yo i need this i need this i would recommend running a pre-order because that way it doesn't come out of your own pockets because book is a lot my last book was 750 dollars bro it is not cheap and then if you get free shipping just imagine shipping on top of that it's a lot bro so i would recommend you run a pre-order for your first run that way you know what sizes that people like that way you know if people like the product and you should get it again you know what i'm saying just things like that just to come into account you guys should most likely run a pre-order and then once you get up there you know what i'm saying more people on your website more customers then you run pre-made that way people can get it easy fast you feel what i'm saying so yeah that's my last step that i recommend man so if you guys do want more videos like this um, learning about clothing brands and teach you guys about the clothing brand game make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe man and i'm out peace